which gives it a very long range, and the crew can even lean back on one of the seats and take a nap on a long endurance flight. The Su-32FN, confusing isn't it? The Su-32FN is an updated version of the 27IB, with a beefed up main gear having two wheels per side and a double nose wheel. When it arrived at the Paris Air Show in 1995, it had flown non-stop from Moscow with no in-flight refueling at all. Every country has its display teams. The British with the Red Arrows, the French with their Fratrie de France. The Russians are no exception. One of their teams is the Russian Knights. Their leader flies the Su-27UB conversion trainer. The rest of the team fly a mixture of single-seaters and two-seaters. Their show is not as flamboyant as the Reds, but it doesn't need to be as it's still unique. The pilots are chosen from the 234th Prokhorovsky Guards Fighter Regiment at Kubinka. The Sukhoi Su-27 Aerobatics Demonstration Team, the Russian Knights.
The modern Sukhois can carry a variety of weapons, but the basics are still the R-27 Alamo and R-73 Archer. The archers are the smaller of the two and they're usually found on the outboard rails. They have thrust vectoring vanes which make the missiles very agile at short range of up to, well, a couple of miles. The R-27 Alamos are generally stored on the inboard rails. This is one of the weapons the former Soviet Union is alleged to have stolen from the West. Well, it does have a resemblance to the Sparrow missile. Both missiles are long range. They're both missiles that are launched once the target has been spotted on the aircraft's radar. They also have a small radar of their own for guidance and detonation on the target. Maximum range, it's about 35 miles. Apart from the Alamo and the Archer, the Sukhois use the long-range AAML and very long-range anti-AWACS weapon. The naval Sukhois, the 27K and the SU-33s, carry a centerline KH-41 Mosquito anti-shipping missile and a clutch of long-range weapons, but all missiles are constantly being updated. As Sukhoi progress by bettering a basically superb machine, what are they up against in the 21st century? Dassault has invested heavily in Rafale. On June the 8th, 1995, the Dassault one single-seater shot down a Mica missile guided by a new radar developed by Dassault. Rafale comes in different sizes, with a two-seater, a single-seater, a naval version, and it should replace half a dozen strike interceptor and reconnaissance types in the French Air Force. Lockheed Boeing won a contract to produce the replacement for the F-15 Eagle, the F-22. long range at supersonic speeds without afterburners and it uses stealth technology to beat advanced radar defense systems. The contract was won after a contest with McDonnell Douglas. Its problem is of course its massive cost. Another aircraft in competition with Sukhoi will be Eurofighter which progresses as we head towards the millennium. It's a joint venture between Germany, Britain, Italy and Spain, with each country contributing in the development. In September 1996, DA-2, or Development Aircraft 2, in the capable hands of test pilot John Turner, gave a well-paced performance at Farnborough 96. He was limited in power with two Tornado engines instead of the planned Eurojet 200 engines. But Farnborough was about to witness one of the greatest air displays in its 50-year history. <laughs> 